Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to cover the top five trendiest haircuts for spring 2018. I've been getting a lot of questions about my own hair and how I get it cut, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about the haircuts that you'll be seeing everywhere this year in general. So first I wanna start with what I do with my hair when I go to my hairdresser. So I'm asking for long and invisible layers and i guess that sounds very vague but if you're going to the right person they know what it means so i don't know if you remember but with the whole layer thing started probably in the 90s with jennifer aniston it was very like you could see the stairs from like here to the bottom that was really cool then and i totally rocked it when i was like eight we have evolved since then and it's all about that effortless feel to the hair that kind of like my hair just you know i woke up from a nap and it just looks like this that's where the soft and visible layers come into play and what they do is basically just spread out the layers all over the hair and they're very not defined what you want to achieve is having that soft weightless type of feel to your hair especially in the back a lot of people will cut it short to make the hair frame the face in the front but then you want to make sure that in the back it also is not heavy and it has that movement that you want to create so that's definitely my go-to haircut and for someone that had long hair for a long time it's been proven tactic to give that effortless look the second haircut that you'll be seeing and you probably are seeing already everywhere is the bob that's my brother's name can you remind me why he decided to call himself bob that's not his name that's not my name Bob, you could have called yourself Ben, but no, okay, cool. Anyways, the bob is really happening this season, and it's actually a very fuss-free type of haircut, and you can really play around with it, which I love. So the bob usually comes to about chin height. Some people will take it all the way longer in the front, and then it's shorter in the back, and some people will go shorter, but I love the chin length the most. I feel it complements most people. What I love about the bob is, beside the fact that it's fuss-free, you can go from from a slick style to a really wavy and textured style which give you more of that beachy type of look you saw Mila Kunis just got hers and it looks amazing and I have to say it looks like a really mommy friendly haircut like you don't have to work on it for hours to make it look good I would love to get one but I cut my hair when I was 12 years old to about here and I lost my whole personality. I lost my friends, no one talked to me. It's just Valeria wasn't there anymore. So that's why I keep these locks because I still wanna maintain this relationship we have. The next one is not a new haircut, but it's kind of an extension of the bob and that's the lob. The lob is about mid neck to about shoulder height. And some of my favorite stars are wearing it right now. Rosie Hunt Huntingly. Rosie Huntington Whitley is rocking one of the best ones. She has a serious hair game going for her. With the lob, I love when they make it that like textured wavy type of feel to it and you can put it to the side you can split it down the middle it looks really good and really sexy on most people that i know round faces if you have a long face as well you know what i mean it's just like the kind of length that really complements most face shapes there's a lot of people that walk down the street and i just like pass them and be like oh you would look so good with the lob but that's not socially appropriate to say so most of hollywood stars today are getting into that especially now with the summer days also a really easy haircut to maintain and really style it the way you want the next hairstyle is something that really has my heart and that's the curtain bangs that's the one haircut that I literally can't even dream of ever having because me with bangs is just not okay. It just doesn't work. It's not good. But a lot of my French fashion muses and beauty muses are rocking curtain bangs. Curtain bangs is basically bangs, but just they're long enough where they just spread kind of down the middle. Uh, there's really a way to choose it up. Like I saw some of the tutorials. I'm actually going to link some in the description box where Violet, she's a makeup artist, and she takes like a little bit of dry shampoo and just zhuzh it up right here. 
and it gives you like this beautiful frame to the face and again it's kind of like you're committing to bangs but not really because they're long enough that you can kind of attach them to the rest of your hair or put them back with a clip there's enough length there that you can kind of see how you feel that day so that's again a very Jane Birkin type of look that's just gives you that a little I want to say something French but I don't know what <laughs> so curtain bangs is definitely on my radar and if you can rock it and get it I urge you to do that then we have a haircut that is coming back really strong from the 70s and that's the shag but that's like the new shag the new shag is really really rock and roll and I really think it looks Cool. It looks cool, Emma. No, not like shaggy, no, like let's it. shag it. No, I don't know. I don't know what it stands for, but I'm sure that my subscribers will know, so let us know. The new shag is basically you have the bangs, they're kind of longish, then you have layers, but it goes up to about shoulder length. I would say the one person that I keep thinking about when I think about the shag is the lead singer from The Doors, Jim Morrison. Can you Google that? I think we should know. What's the Doors? It's an all-time like classic rock and roll band. Youth. <laughs> when I think about the Shag, I think about Jim Morrison, which brings all the right feels. So if you are really kind of into that rock and roll type of vibe, I mean, it is an updated haircut now and it looks much better these days than it looked back then then but that's that's one that i've been seeing quite a bit on the runways especially so the last but not least is something that i've been really loving seeing um everywhere actually on the streets street style on the runways is girls that are embracing their natural textured hair and not conforming necessarily to what the current beauty standards or the past beauty standards and you see it everywhere on the runway girls with big hair with big curls tiny curls there's so much going on and I think that it's so beautiful to see the diversity and all the kind of beauty in it so I thought that really brought even a big element into the fashion industry in general I love seeing that individuality of each girl so if you are you know always been straining your hair maybe try to look into just embracing it it kind of let it go wild because that's it's really it's really happening this season so that's it you guys these are the five top trendiest haircuts for spring and 2018 in general let me know what is your favorite and if you are looking into getting a new one and send me selfies always always on instagram not here on instagram thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have an amazing day